What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a base identification episode and what I want to do is talk about my basic thought process when I look at a base and uh, try to figure out how to bring it down. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll get right into the planning here. Okay, so when you see an exposed town hall, generally you're going to want to do some kind of Sui hero attack or queen walk attack because well on this one the town hall is really really close to the edge and it's kind of out on a point on the base here where it kind of comes to a point so it's kind of it could be difficult to do a queen walk towards it and if you start right next to it your healers would be targeted right away so we're kind of trying to for the most part avoid a queen walk on this base and go for a Sui hero so now we gotta decide what kind of Sui hero we wanna do. We could do a Sui hero Lalun, or we could do a Sui hero Electron Lalun, or we could do a Drag Bat. So those are the, the main strategies that we would wanna be looking at specifically. And all right, so now let's look at, uh, now that we have that identified, we gotta decide what we wanna do of those, and we have uh, all single infernos here. So the idea of a bat bomb going off in the middle seems pretty tempting. Uh, seems like I get a lot of value out of a bat bomb, but I could also, you want to be looking at the sweeper positions, and I can get a lot of value out of an electron as well because the sweepers are not protecting the queen anywhere on this side of the base. I can squeeze in an electron and get in there for some huge value. So I think that's the route that we're gonna go. And we just need to find a way to deal with the CC. And I think we'll actually pull the CC. CC sticks out to about there. And so I want to send in an Electron. We're gonna do a Slammer Electron on this base because of the way the base is shaped with the Town Hall over here. Uh, I'd have to travel through a nice chunk of the base here before I would actually have access to get close enough to the queen with a blimp. So I wanna do this slammer entry. And what I, the entry that I wanna go in, so let's look at a couple different paths here. I want to get as much value out of my slammer before it actually opens as possible. And I think the best option here, the best pathing path I see is right here to this archer tower, then to the cannon, then to the mortar, and it'll open right in this area. We can freeze all of that and maybe even catch the queen inside of it if we uh, wanna get a little bit of extra value out of the slammer there. And I can send in a couple balloons to snipe that off and these will be down to the heroes in advance. So, or I could do the heroes afterwards. Uh, it doesn't, shouldn't make that much of a difference. We'll actually do the heroes first because I wanna take this archer tower and this wizard tower off of the the stone slammer as it moves in. And then the CC should come out uh, here. We will we need a backup plan for the CC. So I'm gonna bring a baby dragon with this whole area of defenses here clear. Then I should have some trash sitting out here. So I'm gonna bring uh, just a baby dragon to uh, lure any remaining CC out and finish it off. And I should only lure out the air targeting CC and I'll uh, Laloon the rest from there so we just got to decide on our Laloon pathing so the air defenses that we're will still be standing will be this one this one and probably that one we might get this one but uh, guaranteed these ones over here will be still standing so if the heroes remove this and the law or the electron removes uh i don't know how much it'll get i'm gonna do a two clone electron because it is a pretty compact area in here i want to make sure i get as much as possible so we're gonna do two clones and so i might let's say it's so hard to judge a, a electron to find out exactly how much value you can get but we'll say roughly we'll, we'll say roughly that uh, it's going to be more than that, but let's go conservative and plan around that. So now 
the electron is going to start, or excuse me, the law is going to start coming in. So we'll have hounds on these air defenses as we move in. So we want to start more over here and get a couple of balloons moving in advance to direct target that arch tower before they're actually being targeted by the air defense. We want the lava hound either coming from the side or past them up. And then the next lava hound will come in from about here and we'll try to direct target as many of these defenses as we can. And then the last one will come in from over here and try to once again direct target as many of these defenses as possible. And then that should all pretty much collapse in. We'll have uh, I'm thinking a haste around here, a haste in this damage area here, and uh, depending on what's still standing from the electron, we'll get another haste going into or through the eagle here. So right around the eagle, and then I should just have one more haste that I'll hold for this back end. I'll hold, try to hold, remember to hold a couple of balloons as well. Well, that one will just kind of play by ear. This last haste will we'll see exactly what's still standing at the end of all that. And I might use it here to get into the air defense a little bit quicker, but for the most part, I shouldn't need it anywhere up in this side. And at worst, I'll just need it to get into the the last wizard tower there. But I should try to save a balloon or two to try to tank that wizard tower as we go into it on the backside. So that's the basic idea. Then it'll just be make sure we get the cleanup down. And usually, uh, electron law loon is a pretty fast attack, so I don't think it'll be too much problem. If we get more value out of the Electron, then it's just going to make it that much easier. But let's go and see if we can smash this out and get a triple. Troops are all ready. Uh, looks like there's a live going on, but we'll concentrate on what we're doing here. Uh, we got... I will have to change to the Slammer to make sure that I actually use the right siege machine. So I have a blimp in my camp there, but I'm gonna make sure I switch. And I brought a second baby dragon just in case the Electron doesn't quite bring down the CC. So I have a backup to finish it off. And then lastly, uh, I forgot I was gonna bring that freeze for the, for the Electron. So I have one less haste. So that last haste I was talking about is pretty much null, but I think we are ready to go in. So let's uh, take one more last glance at the base here. So electron here and freeze these. Okay. And then we'll get the poison, two clones and a rage down and just blow that area up. We do need to use the heroes in advance. So let's see if we can do this. Uh, we actually can do the heroes and the electron kind of simultaneously. The heroes will be drawing the fire of these. So we'll yeah, yeah, that'll be good. We'll do that. So I can do my heroes and the Electron simultaneously, and maybe they can protect each other. So here we go. Let's do it. Going in live. Okay. So hero, queen, got a little Tessa farm there. Tornado trap, which is actually good because that means the tornado trap is not going to be on my... Okay, get the freeze ready. So we got two dragons coming out of the CC. Uh, we're good. All right, we got the queen down. That's good. Come on, you dragon. Finish off those dragons. We get them. We get them. Mm, they're gonna come up just short. Let's uh, lure them off to this baby dragon here and finish them off. All right, that should finish them. And let's start our Lalun. So, okay, everything's going in. Get our warden down. Get a haste there. Haste there. He's good so far. Get our cleanup moving. And we'll pop that warn ability. And one more haste for the core. And we'll hold that last balloon for cleanup or for the distraction on the backside there. Now air defense is causing a little bit of problems, but as long as I distract this right, then we should be good right now. Oh, got a troll Tesla. 
Oh, I did get a split on the balloons there. Come on, come on, come on. That troll Tesla blew, drew off my distraction balloon. That might cause some problems if I get that wizard tower down. Come on, warden, turn around. The troll or the other Tesla did take out the thing on the back. I do have a lot of balloons here. If the if the warden can keep tanking that wizard tower long enough for the pups to get through, then I can potentially still get this triple. They just need to tank that wizard tower long enough. Come on, come on, get it, get it. All right, we did get it. <laughs> All right, that troll Tesla almost messed things up. I think these uh, pups, as long as we don't hit a red mine, should be able to overwhelm that uh, air defense there. They won't be able to bring it down fast enough, and we should get this triple. Whew, that was a little bit closer than I would have liked to, to be, but uh, the balloons have already passed through that area, so they should be able to finish cleaning it out. Yeah, that's close, that's close. All right, we still got our warden, OP warden right there. <laughs> it came close, but we got the triple, so uh, I don't like it coming that close. That distraction balloon was supposed to go in and take care of that wizard tower, but it got pulled off by the troll Tesla. Didn't even see the troll Tesla down there. It was probably already pulled, but we got it, so no big deal. Actually, we're going to have to show that, li that other live attack for me in the next video, but let's actually look at how to beat this common base. And you've probably seen variations of this base all over the place. I know I have. I see it constantly when I play my Town Hall 11. And I am a lot of times forced to do an 11v12 on this base. And often it works because hogs wreck this base. And a lot of variations of this base. So if you see this base, always consider the option of hogs. But what makes it really easy to beat is when you have these big wide compartments then there's just a thin layer of uh, buildings on each of the the cross sections of around the edge there and you can very very easily funnel and get the heroes and a uh, kill squad to go in straight after the town hall and get it in this case uh, he popped his warden ability just a little bit early and lost a lot of his kill squad but it doesn't even matter because uh, once the hogs start coming in with these big open compartments, even though they're very anti-bowler witch, which is mainly what they're trying to stop here, it makes it really, really easy for hogs to pass through. And even a lot of times, the giant bombs are going to be inside of the bigger or the the channels in between the compartments there, so the hogs can just rip through, and you can pretty predictably know where the bombs are going to be. So it's pretty easy to heal through it, and. I mean, look, his queen even survived there, and she's going to wreck past and finish up on the cleanup. He's got a couple wizards to follow, but if you ever want to use hogs at Town Hall 12, this is the base to do it. And uh, you can also do a law loon on this base. It also works very well. And if there's no single infernos guard in the Town Hall, and you can squeeze a queen walk down the one of these channels, then that's also a good option. But... I have seen hogs work on this base better than almost anything else, so always keep that in mind when you see these bases and make them pay for using those internet bases, but yeah, uh, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. We're going to keep it a little bit short because I am a little bit of a time crunch. Got to hit the gym and go lift some weights. I don't know if you guys know, but I am a competitive power lifter, so that between this and that, my time is uh pretty much tied up a lot of the day so we're gonna end it there make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one